All right, guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack. And tonight I got something a little off the beaten path. Uh, it's going to be a product review. And some of you may not be interested in it, but others may. It's one of those things that we all have to have and we all use, especially if you do the things that I do with woodworking, uh, saw milling, carrying heavy things, just generally working around the house. Uh, and it's going to be a pair of boots that I got sent to me by a company named High C, which is H I S E A. And I'm going to be going over those and some of the things that I like about them, some of the things that I didn't necessarily like, and just some things that you might need to be aware of if you're planning on buying a pair. All right, guys, these are the boots that I wound up going with. Uh, traditionally speaking, I wear uh, more of a cowhide, just a plain work boot. I wear the steel toes. Uh, but I've had some incidents up at the mill, and I've seen some, some guys in some of the forums and stuff like that uh, talking about saw milling and how... Uh, steel toe boots may not necessarily be the best thing for saw milling because in the event that a log rolls over on your foot it can compress the metal and put your toes in a bad situation because that metal is not going to spring back up once you get the weight off of the top of it and it'll either one mess your boots up so they won't ever wear right again or two it could you know cause that metal to actually uh, press upon your foot and keep you from being able to get your foot out of there and hold that pressure even after the logs pulled off so I'd been looking at going to some composite toed shoes, uh, especially for milling. In here, I don't usually deal with anything that heavy, but at the mill, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty important to make sure uh, I have smashed my fingers and uh, thumbs and, and, and had logs hit me and hit my leg. And, and, and so there's always been that in the back of my mind, hey, what happens when one you know, lands on my foot? Uh, so I decided to give these guys a try. I had been shopping at Tractor Supply and I'd found similar boots to these, not really as, as, as cool looking as these, but similar to these and they range anywhere from, you know, $75 a pair up to $150. Uh, so when, when they reached out to me about these, I decided, you know what, I'll, I'll try them. If, if it doesn't work out, I'm not out any money. Uh, it'd be a win-win for me. Uh, and so I've been wearing these, like I said, for about three weeks. They've got a pretty aggressive... Uh, Footprint, which is handy because here at the Clack Shack, I have a pine straw. I've got a lot of sand. Uh, you know, my, my whole place is built on the side of a hill. And so I need something with grip. I can't wear the slick bottom cowboy boots uh, and then go traversing up this hill covered in pine straw or uh, you'll, you'll wind up laying down. So I, I like the grip on them. Uh, I'm, I'm a more of a fan of the high top shoes. But with these, I have found that it's, it's, it's just enough, just enough height that it doesn't quite feel like a tennis shoe because uh, I'm not really a sneakers kind of guy. Uh, but the construction of them so far, I've been wearing these outside and as far as the seams, which is typically if I'm gonna tear a pair of boots up, I rip the seams here uh, on the side of the heel uh, when you're walking and your foot's leaning, it tends to, I tend to, to pull this part here apart. Uh, and so far these guys haven't done that. Uh, and another thing is I do a lot of, especially in the shop when I'm building things, up and down, up and down, and my toes spend a lot of time on the ground. And as you can see, these are a little worn uh, right here, but it's got this, uh, some type of, uh, it, it, it appears to be leather, but it's, it's either painted or stained or something to a real dark, like a black finish. Uh, and, and I've wore it down, but it hasn't wore through. And like I said, in three weeks of wearing them, there are some spots. You can see some little spots here where they're starting to wear a little bit from, from where my pants and uh, especially when it got cold and I was wearing my, uh, my thermal bibs, my insulated bibs, it started wearing a little bit and, and discoloring them a little bit. That just makes them look worn to me. Uh, have it cleaned these, I could probably go, go take and uh, wipe them down and get them to look a little bit better. But I went with this particular design and this particular color because of the orange. Uh, and if you've watched my, my videos, you know that I like my orange hoodie. My daughter calls it my highlighter hoodie because I look like a highlighter walking around. Uh, but so far, they've done a really, really good job wearing. Uh, they come with the, the insoles are, you know, generic looking insoles but they're really really soft but then the, the bottom of the boot is is solid uh, this thing doesn't have a whole lot of give to it i'm used to like i said uh the cowboy tie or just the, the standard work boots where they have the hard the hard bottoms and these guys have a really really flat hard bottom which is kind of in line with what I'm used to wearing. It doesn't have the tennis shoe bottoms uh, because at my height and weight, 
I tend to wear holes in tennis shoes to where I have that little, uh, you wind up with that uh, grid pattern chewing through the bottom of the insoles. And so far, three weeks of use, uh, carrying chicken feed, carrying water buckets, carrying lumber, pushing sawmills. So far, so good, no problems. Oh. I'll let you know if they hold up as long as what I typically get out of boots, because typically a pair of boots won't last me but about six months. So if these guys can hold up for about another five months or so, uh, we'll call that a, a good deal. But I will say that for the price, uh, with the coupon on their website, uh, these things are listed right now for like $65, and they sent me a special URL that you can use as well as an additional 15% off coupon for the company. So if this is something you're interested in, it's something you want to try out, maybe you've been looking at, at, at going this route with your boots, I'm going to drop that link down below, and uh, you, can, you can give them a try. Uh, so far, the only advice that I will give is if you order one, a pair of these, I don't know if it's just the, the size is running a little bit smaller or if it's the, the way the construction is or just the way they wear, but you may want to add about a half a size to whatever size you wear. Uh, the break-in process on these was kind of tough, and I think that was partially because I ordered an 11, and I probably should have got 11 and a half. Uh, but after a couple of weeks of, of wearing them, they've, they've gotten to where they, they, they ride pretty well. Uh, I don't have any problems with sprained ankles or you know sliding on the side of a heel. Like I said, the grip works pretty well. Uh, they don't slip. Uh, the ice that's been out here lately on the back porch and places like that, I haven't had any problems with sliding on ice. So altogether, I'm gonna have to give them a good score. Uh, like I said, I'll give you a little more feedback later on, but I'm kinda, I'm kinda looking forward to uh, seeing if this company would like to send me a, a couple, maybe a couple more pair to try out because these, uh, these were actually pleasantly surprised me, especially considering the price point uh, that, they're, that they're being sold at. Because even the cheaper, uh, you know, the Carhartt and, and people like that that make these type shoes, uh, the, the, even the cheaper brands, I can't find any that, that I like the feel of and that wear like these wear. So. Just wanted to do this quick little video, guys. Uh, I hope this helps. It's a little off the beaten path, but you'd be surprised at some of the things that, uh, that, that you think about when you get out here doing all this and folks, you know, they, they, they want you to try these different footwear and stuff like that. And, and we all have to wear them. We all have to wear shoes, or most of us anyway. And uh, like I said, especially in colder climates, because I have been wearing these for the past few days in this 15 degree weather, and they've actually kept my feet warm. And that is a big plus when the temperatures get down to around 15 degrees. Uh, a lot of leather in here. So, so far, so good. I like them. But don't forget, guys, uh, these are going to be the high C, and they describe these as their safety work boots. I will put a link down below. It's going to be an additional 15% off of the already on sale price that they have listed on their website. And uh, the, two, the only two things that I will warn you about is, is the break-in period can be a little tough if you don't go about a half a size larger than what you would normally wear. Uh, and that would, I think that would definitely take the edge off of the break-in. But thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.